Harry Shape, I hope you're doing well today. In today's video, I want to share with you how to reshape your mind from being introvert to being confident. What actually confidence is? What is confidence? Confidence is a state of alignment. In fact, yesterday I was given this stuff and someone who was actually responsible for that said choose one of this, uh, not choose, but try all of this keys. Maybe you're lucky and some of the key will fit to close your door of your room. Yes, I'm currently in an apartment where I can't even close my room, which feels just obnoxious for myself and really kind of strange I feel kind of intimidated just in the atmosphere where I'm living right now it's just really sketchy fears it's like kind of a ghetto part of Germany <laughs> where I'm re living right now but at least it's for, at least it's for free but it's not it's not a pretty big apartment for for free stuff and yeah currently because of internship what I'm doing is more or less um, invested uh, or investment by the company where I'm currently doing the internship however yesterday I went to the first day on the internship and just just when I in just when I went into this place I didn't feel aligned with the place. Something deep in myself says, no, dude, you don't belong to him. It's just a waste of time. And you know what? <laughs> it was a freaking waste of time. I was giving tasks, doing the freaking research that I can do actually in a half, and half, uh, yeah, I think half an hour. But what eventually happened is I ended up to sit there for six or no, four, what was it? nine or even ten hours straight and for myself just sitting there doing nothing it's like I, c I could do the same task within a half an hour really but the task was standing so vague and you have to research all the all the websites which are like um, are doing the same stuff and doing research on every website this is so tedious really <laughs> I'm not a freaking computer, I'm a human being and I don't want to be treated like that, it just feels so bad, it just felt so awkward for myself and I'm about to say no, yes. And this is actually the power of saying no, but I want to go actually a little bit deeper when I first explain you what is actually all about to being confident and, and when you feel this disalignment of confidence which can actually end up in being an introvert. What is in being an introvert is being an introvert like myself in the past I was bullied for straight over 10 years and I know it how it lo looks like. You feel intimidated by all this atmosphere and everything and maybe because you don't take action you feel like the same thing is actually when you go for a party and when you feel like yourself an introvert or you have a mask because what eventually happens when you say you're introvert you're not an introvert at all because you're just putting a mask on or society is putting your mask and forcing you putting the masks on in fact you can't say to anything it's just one thing in the world it's every it's every time a combination of several patterns to become something but you can't say introvert is just one thing you are introvert because I can just challenge you when you talk to your mother when you talk to your relatives to one human being in your life must be there that you don't feel an introvert and when this person is still there then you don't feel an introvert at all maybe you're also talking to yourself like myself when I'm alone however it doesn't feel that you're introvert because you can talk to yourself and when you deep in your heart you feel like I want to talk to people I want to reach out to people then do it just do it. You can use this three second rule that I have introduced you back in the days. However, 
and the thing is going over in traversy is really just to remember yourself every single time when you're talking to those person who you feel most aligned with who you can talk for others it doesn't feel that you're an introvert because just the chemistry, the chemistry is really is right and the thing is when I walk into the office and get the tasks down it was for me like so intimidated and even it was aligned with the theme Japan and the people who came uh, I mean there was one employee who was Japanese and I felt kind of aligned with her but with the rest it feels just really intimidated it's more like even the doing like work in Japan however it doesn't feel like really natural it feels like uh, like between in the middle like Chuto Hampa when you say it in Japanese and it felt like Chuto Hampa every single time and even we ate them and stuff like that it felt just no please not give me a break it just feels so cringe and so bad and guess guess what it's not a sign of being weak it's not a sign of being weak you don't have to be in a place where you don't want to be and as faster you recognize it the better it is for sure in fact back in the course when I had these courses I felt more aligned with the course than this one why because I could at least talk to people I could actually more interact with people not just sitting and staring in front of freaking screen and just doing freaking work which is I could do just in a half an hour and just waste really I can do the same work in a half an hour at my home and it's just and it's it has more productivity than here because it's just so bad really just just sitting there it's so feel everything feels so intimidated and it feels so no so cringe and I want to be honest with yourself because I always say do not let yourself from pursue your passion now and I want to be honest with yourself and I'm about to say no to this job opportunity everyone said man it's really not your opportunity it says Japan but you have to use Japanese I didn't have to use Japanese yesterday at all I just used it because I talked to someone Japanese and they answered in Japanese however the most time what I it just felt so bad it just felt bad and the thing is of saying no you know like all the big people like Columbus Christopher Columbus when he everyone says no you can't go through it's a flat or if you will fall down you will freaking die and he said no I just do it and what has happened he has discovered discovered America okay and the same thing is also for currently if you go for Elon Musk everyone say no you can't you can't put your rockets uh, in a space no you are just one person you can't do it he said no and he does it and he he does it more than everyone else because he is the only person who has more rockets than Russia and US combined the only nation which had more rockets than him is currently China China yes and this is the only nation and it's freaking Elon Musk he is just working 80 hours a day but he's more aligned you can see the power in his eyes you can see how he is more aligned and it's actually said um, you know this the train goes how the uh, driver is uh, riding it so when his drivers didn't line ride it right then it doesn't feel good and I have read a lot about things like split it and I think we're now in the split it state of the company where the chef or the boss he has to return to the origin to the back to the origin and the thing is he doesn't want to he even don't recognize that he is riding the false track and it feels just so bad it feels really bad and yeah I can't really currently I can't really comprehend to it and it's not a sign of weakness again I have already I did it once back in Japan when I was in Izakaya for one week I think like it's like um, a bar where you have to surf and if it's just so bad the treatment was so bad it wasn't under every pick how we say in Germany um, it was really uh, the worst treatment ever 
and um, when I have experienced it for one week, I say, okay, one week and I quit. I, I don't care, I just quit. And it's not to be a quitter or not a quitter, it's just to be in alignment with your heart. When your heart say no, just go and say no. Just say no. Listen to your heart. This is actually the most thing what I can say. And everyone says, everyone, big entrepreneurs say, just listen to the gods, listen to your heart. And as my mentor says, follow your heart and take action. Live the life you want to live. This is actually one thing what I want to advise. Sorry, Shepa. I hope you have an awesome day. Tell me down below what's the number one thing you have feel so far. I'm really afraid my throat doesn't feel so good today. So, um, I do upload every single day. So please make sure to also hit the notification bell on the subscribe button. And I hope uh, you really enjoy this stream and maybe have a day, maybe you have learned something from what I just learned yesterday. And as always with Shepa, do not let yourself, keep this your passion now.